श्री गुरु पिहर महाराज नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट एन एक्सेल ऑन द एनुअल तिथि प्रवेश इन एक्सेल द तिथि प्रवेश हैज अट्रैक्टेड माय अटेंशन वेरी स्ट्रांगली एंड आई हैव ऑलवेज बीन वांटिंग टू डू दिस सो आई टेक दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू इलस्ट्रेट माय अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द तिथि प्रवेश एंड हाउ वी कैन Uh, make it in excel so let me okay so here i have a sheet called tp tithi pravesha in a tithi pravesha chart excel file so it takes the dop input as before in many of our illustrations and you can choose the name of the person there and immediately his birth details are drawn out from the dop sheet and you can choose the items and all that in the dop sheet the latitude the longitude for the birth of the person is taken out see in tithi pravesha it is a birthday chart we can say the tithi that gets repeated year to year what do we mean by tithi the annual di angular distance between the moon and the sun okay if it is uh, if the same angular distance repeats in a year when the sun is at the same sign as at birth that we call as the tithi pravesha time so it has to so this person i have pulled out some p235 is born with rishabha lagna as the birth lagna and the sun is here and the moon is in uh, dhanur so she or he was born in the birth tithi number 19 which uh, is krishna paksha krishna paksha chaturthi so uh, with the tithi percentage left as 53.93% these are all calculated as before in our many of our excel sheets so it requires only the moon's longitude and the sun's longitude at birth and the angular distance between them is computed the minimum angular distance the max angular distance one uh, 180 360 minus that and depending upon uh, what paksha it is it uses the moon minus sun and gets the percentage that is left at birth so these are simple computations now this is at birth if we want to analyze a particular year when the same tithi the krishna chaturthi for this person repeats with the same percentage of tithi left that is the angular distance between the sun and the moon should be exactly the same as at birth and the sun should also be exactly at the same location as at birth then that date it need not be necessarily the birth date it could be different it might be mostly different the nakshatra also need not be the same it could be one nakshatra before or after or the same nakshatra as well and yeah but the tithi would be exactly the same it would be same for this person krishna chaturthi with the same percentage of uh, tithi left and such a time date and time together that we arrive at when we cast a time for that that is called the tithi pravesha chart i have made a tithi pravesha chart for all the uh, divisions as well so if we choose d1 you get the d1 tithi pravesha chart both in the north indian and the south indian sky and if we choose d2 it would be d2 there and i specifically just the d1 alone i am seeing it in the south indian chart alone how we arrive at is you cannot just take this as tithi pravesha chart we have to give the year of interest so for this person this p235 she met with a severe accident in 2024 this year after her birthday around july time frame she met with a very severe accident her uh, scooter was run over by a bus or uh, it was caught in the underneath the bus uh, it totally crashed lots of bone fractures even uh, survival was a great difficulty it was in hospital for long long time she has just narrowly escaped death that's it but uh, it was a massive disaster life changing even today uh, this year so let us check uh, 
what do the chart I, I was not able to make out much from the birth chart as such he was running i think rahu dasa jupiter bhakti jupiter is of course with saturn nicha in the 12th house all that other is the 8th lord in the 12th house that is somewhat but why should rahu give that it was not very clear from just the dasa bhakti alone but when i looked into the tithi pravesha chart 2024 immediately you can see the chart here because it would be some default numbers there you have to click this uh for what this does is it immediately changes the date from the near likely birth date this year and it changes the date one after day after the other as soon as the sun enters the particular sign and then the goal is minimized for zero the goal here is the moon minus the sun uh, the degree difference between moon and the sun at birth and the difference between the moon and the sun at the tithi pravesha date these two <coughs> should be minimum the difference between these two should turn out to be zero so it will manipulate the date so that we arrive at a zero for this minimization goal and uh, initially i reduce by days then hours minutes and then even then if we don't arrive at a slowly change it when you click in jagannath or i immediately get it whereas uh, this optimization i have not uh, fully optimized finally i have uh, uh, narrowed down to a talents of point not not one so the individual has to give the year of interest immediately a guest date time is marked here based upon surya's entry date so what i have done here is the year of interest is y o y i i find when the sun rises at birth i of course sun rises at birth is known to me because the chart is known uh by pulling all the data from the ob input then i find when the chart uh, is likely to have entered this right? so for the each day of uh, every month when sun is here till we get the tithi pravesha we start with a given date and enter this are all uh, guessed by the system itself <coughs> and then when you press the solve button it arrives at a particular date and time which gives the tithi pravesha date and time you can verify this with jagannath aura which will also give the same uh, of course uh, jagannath aura has multiple options what i choose is i insist that the sun should be in the same sign your tithi pravesha chart it is not the lunar month that i am tracking it is the solely lunar the sun has to be the same and the tithi has to be the same so you have those you see the moon and the sun at the birth and the tithi pravesha chart to be at the same location and the date would add finally <coughs> when you see here the tithi percentage left is 53% and it turns out to be the same as at birth this is so by manipulating the number of days after the sun enters this sign uh decimal days uh, even the time gets included gets included there we arrive at such that uh, the moon is exactly away from the sun by the same degree so in this case if you look into this chart if you see here this year in may yeah, i think she met with accident in july maybe july 21st or something like that so you see your mars and rahu uh, the the 12th house of hospitalization he has a powerful malefics there <coughs> the eighth lord the lagna lord both go to the 12th of hospitals so this is so very ominous from the moon she was run down by a, the fourth house that is uh, getting affected her face was totally crashed uh, see uh, from the the sixth house also the sixth house lord is sitting in lagna and the main important features that you would see for a tithi pravesha chart what i have given here are multiple tables you have the birth table you have this which is the manipulated variable tables and for the tithi pravesha time that is arrived at we calculate the body degrees and i have also included in addition to bhava d1 i am marking a bhava dx dx is any division that you are as a user can choose 
and that chart would be erected here. Yeah. And if you want to say in this case it is accident, so in case if you want to D6, here in D6, in Dx, what is the Maranakaraka Sthana planet? You see here is Saturn is sitting in Maraka MKS in the D6 chart of the Titi Pravesha, and you can see Saturn sitting on the Lagna with the 12th Lord Moon <coughs> and the facial Lord Mercury, the second Lord with the Rago 8th of Mars. So this is so very ominous and so very potent it's seen in a Titi Pravesha chart, not only with this chart. You have multiple charts uh, which you, it will put very clearly you can read from Titi Pravesha what's going to happen in that year. We, you will have so many validation points when you use the Titi Pravesha chart. And I also included what is called a TP120 years. This takes a long time but it is still worth running it in case you are interested. What it does is each year after birth for each year it calculates all this. Uh, basically the time, we are interested only in this date time that is the result of all this. <coughs> it calculates and uh, populates it in a TP output sheet. So this was done for, uh, I am not doing it now because uh, of lack of time. But you can use it, this feature, when you go to TP output, it uh, marks, uh, this was done for my <coughs> chart from each year of birth age 1. Uh, in uh, it finds the Titi Pravesha date and also uh, populates uh, what is the sun degree, moon degree uh, during the Titi Pravesha chart and uh, what is the moon star. Moon star I said it would be either the birth star or one star ahead of it or one star behind it. Normally it is like uh, Shiva, then Mahavishnu, uh, sustenance is Mahavishnu which is the second nakshatra. Uh, birth is the Brahma, so the same nakshatra. This person was uh, this for another person, as I said, born in Purva Bhadrapada. So that would be Purva Bhadrapada itself would be Brahma. Uttra Bhadrapada would be like Mahavishnu sustenance, and Satabhisha would be a transforming year. So that would be like Maha Shiva. So you can, in fact, figure out what all years. Uh, for this person have been a revolutionary or makeshift or gear changes here, yeah, gear changing years. And we can figure out from the chart, you can erect the chart for that and figure out why those things are like that for him. It will be very, very revealing. Uh, this Titi Pravesha chart, main feature you can use is uh, who is the Vara Lord <coughs> and who is the Hora Lord. The Hora Lord is the king of the chart. And uh, you can read a lot more from the Hora Lord. And the, the in this chart, the Hora Lord happened to be for that year, uh, year uh, Venus, the killer Lord. Uh, Venus is the Hora Lord. So he is in his own, in our own house, that's good. But he's the seventh and the second Lord. So that way he's a, uh, a first rate killer for this Lagna. So that is uh, very ominous. And uh, Surya is the Hora Lord. Surya is very powerful. Lord, which is quite powerful in the second house. Fifth Lord, so Pura Punya would help. Uh, so those things can be read, uh, of course, uh, with all the divisional charts and uh, Aruda Padas, you can read a lot more. But one beauty about uh, using this is uh, this TP output, I would think, for every 120 years, you know the Titi Pravesha thoroughly for each year. And you can clearly make out which all years have been good or which future years would be bad or good or what rewards for you in the Titi Pravesha. Just as uh, what is in store for the coming year will be very clearly explicitly seen from the Titi Pravesha. I use the Titi Ashtottari Dasa system along with this which works wonderfully well. And also you, I have seen Saham to be pretty much working on this as well, which of course is uh, for normally Tajika predictions, but even the year uh, I find it very, very powerful. So uh, here is my two cents on uh, my conference level on Titi Pravesha. Uh, I want to just pass on to you. I'll pass on this Excel, download it, use it and see the power of Titi Pravesha, uh, very, uh, very, very powerful 
that's our system, uh, the uh, chat system for reading. Okay, download and give us the feedback. Thank you very much.